And welcome back. This is Baller Scooper with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Axel Axis. Axel Axis is ranked 26th in his Diamond Division with 145 points and 39 wins. It doesn't tell me the losses anymore. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the Northwest. My opponent, Axel Axis, is the red Protoss player in the southeast. The map is Taldurim Alter Ellie. I believe it's Ellie. Um, this is a new map um, released in the 1.3 beta. This is my first game after a long hiatus. I'm going to say it was about two and a half weeks, two and a half, three weeks of not playing any 1v1 games. Uh, primarily due to sickness, I could not think. Uh, well enough to play the game very well. Uh, so I'll, you'll have to excuse me if I'm still a little bit rusty. But hopefully I can come through with a good game for you guys. Um, the map is huge, by the way. As you can see, the second base here is relatively easy to hold with a, r a relatively small choke for a second base. Uh, the third base here is also very... Um, very close to the main starting point, the main spawning point, and once again, still relatively easy to hold. Uh, it will have two choke points into it. Uh, the fourth one I would consider over here. Um, it's this. This map is designed for long, long games. Uh, this fourth one here is once again uh, relatively easy to hold, but you know there could definitely be some difficulties with that one. Um, you'll have to have technically three armies um, if you want to guard all of them at the same time. One here, one here, and one here. To guard all four of your bases at the same time. But uh, when you have four bases up, really, uh, you're just going to have one giant roaming army by that point. Uh, so, um, what was his name? Where's the nameplates? There we go. Axel Axis. Uh, yeah, I don't like the Supply Depot count there. So, Axel Axis is finally going to be coming into my base. Uh, meanwhile, he is going for his first gateway. He did just finish the Assimilator as well, so we should be seeing some tech out of him soon. He is not going to be going for a quick expand, um, which, as you can see here, by my lack of gas, is definitely what I am going for here. In fact, looks like my second Rax is just now on the way. It was late. I was waiting for that probe to die so he would not see what I was up to. Cybernetics Core is on the way for Axel Axis. Let's get those nameplates out of the way. They're, they're huge. Um, you know, there, there's already enough going on on the screen uh, for those nameplates uh, to, to get in the way. I'll, I might show them later on in the game, but right now, we don't really need to see them. So my 2-Rex is up. My expansion is on the way. I did go for the 2-Rex expand once again. And meanwhile, my opponent is going for... Well, he's going for the warp gate technology. He's kind of building up on the minerals for now. I'm not exactly sure what he's going for at this point. It's pretty hard to say. Looks like he is going to be securing his expansion as well, uh, based on the um, rally point of that stalker. Well, maybe. Still hard to say. Meanwhile, my strategy is very clear. My bunker is going up in front of my expansion, uh, continually producing uh, SCVs. I'm actually going for two gas here. They are a little bit late. Um, not terribly late, but I would love to see one of them go up a little bit sooner than that. He does have his stalker at the Zelnaga Tower here. One of the four that guard the middle of the map. Um, it's Because there are four and they're spread out like that, I'm not a big fan of them. They do play their role in this map though. So now we have two, three, three gate robo on the way. So not going to be an early aggressive rush strategy from Axel Axis. Instead he is going to be going for well, three gate and then tech. So all that should be spent on tech eventually. Um, the Robox facility, once that is finished, probably going to be seeing an observer coming out of there. Um, my 
uh, expansion is being morphed into a normal command right now. I am not oversaturated here. That is one of the beauties of getting that T-Rex expand out quickly. Uh, there's no need to transfer very early on. This stalker, I can see him from there. I don't know if he knew that, but I definitely could see him. So I set my marines down to try to do a little bit of damage. Um, the game was actually very laggy when I was playing it, so um, there's a, I'd say about a half second delay between when I issued commands and when it actually got done, but um, I was, that was enough to scare him off. Got a little bit of damage done, looks like 18 HP off his permanent health. Of course, those shields regenerate over time. And it looks like, oh, Axelastis is supply locked here. Uh, Robox Bay is on the way, so we should be seeing Colossus out of him. That is a great strategy. Um, looks like that was about 30 game seconds ago, so that was a reaction to seeing all the Marines that I had made um, when he sent that Stalker in. So the Stalker does pay off for him. That scouting is what enabled him to make sure that he was getting the right tech, and the Colossus is the right tech right now. The only question is, will I have enough units to counter a massive set of Colossus heading my way? Or Colossi, sorry, I should say. Thermal Lance is on the way as well. He's got a few uh, Zealots, uh, well, let's see, he's got six Zealots, three Stalkers, and a Sentry out. Meanwhile, an Observer is coming inside my base to check out what is going on. And he's basically just going to see my expansion, which he should have already known was there. Based on the placement of my army, he should have known that I had the expansion. Of course, he does not have ex his expansion yet. And if you, we look at the income tab, it definitely shows. Although our gas is even. Look how far ahead I am in the minerals. Not only because of the mules, but an increased harvester count. And of course, I have two bays, and that always helps. My fourth and fifth barracks are on the way. Engineering Bay is researching uh, weapons level one. Let's get back, that back up. There we go. Wanted to get that production tab up. Uh, stim pack almost done, not fully done yet. It looks like though I am going for an attack here because I have such a large army and he has never moved out. Um, I'm confident that I'll be able to hold off anything he has. Uh, meanwhile, oh, he is trying to get a proxy pylon up. Um, I should be microing these uh, these zealots. I was not doing that, um, but instead I have you know a large enough army to finish that off well enough. Um, he does have one colossus out. He does have a backup uh, proxy pile on my army splits here, and I don't catch it until it's a little bit too late. Um, th so these guys will go down mostly due to this colossus right there. He does get five kills. Uh, taking out the proxy pylon and the zealot, more colossus on the way. It looks like he's got two of them out, and a third is on the way. Uh, zealots are out as well. And here, I'm not exactly sure what to do with these guys. Um, looking back, I probably should have sent them back inside my base. Continual. Oh man, that is so high right there. 1,700 minerals. There's there's no reason for that right now. Um, but I'm trying to be a little bit sneaky here. I'm going around to the third, uh, the third base here, but I notice that he does not have it. In fact, he does not even have the second base yet. Um, he is, he's pretty much crippled himself here uh, by going for the Colossus very early, never really making a push until it was too late, allowing me to get that second expand, or sorry, the second base up early. Um, and focusing almost primarily on getting those Colossus out. He's let me take the lead here in income. As you can see, I have 2,400 minerals and I'm on five gate that are constantly producing Marines and Marauders. And what am I doing here? I'm actually going to se secure a third base here. I'm cleaning out these rocks right here uh, to prepare for that. Uh, he, he looks like he's going to be moving out with three Colossi and three Zealots. That is not going to be enough here. Let's look at the army. Um, yeah, my army count completely outshadows his. Is there an army tab? There is. Look at that. I'm going to say that's about uh, 55 to 60 percent 
in my direction. Let's get rid of that. I mean, those things are huge, those nameplates. Um, but as you can see, I still have a huge army inside my base, all Marines and Marauders still. They are still 1-0. Uh, the armor level 1 is on the way. All of the upgrades out of the tech labs are finished, though. Uh, the Observer is still here. Since it is in that tree, that's a great placement by uh, by Axel Axis. I could not see that Observer there. I never actually knew there was one in my base. Um, like I said, I was rusty. And here, I, you know, this is just me not being familiar with the map. Um, he easily takes out one of my supply depots with those Colossus. I did not... You know, I did not look at the map long enough to realize that that would be possible. Um, I have two SUVs in this army, I don't know why. Uh, but I'm focusing down uh, these Colossus, and he is forced to GG. He never got the second base, and that's really what cost him the game. I mean, if we look at the income tab right now, I'm ahead 52 Harvesters to his 33. I'm getting over double his mineral income and I'm starting to get uh, double his gas uh, that of course went down as I pulled a couple SUVs off the gas lines um, he's got proxy pylons you know well he ha he's built what three or four of them um, really he stood no chance um, I thought this was a quick GG when I was in the game but looking back it was actually uh, pretty well timed. Uh, he just didn't want me to go and inside his base and try to destroy him. This would have been three base to one once this was finished and it was very close to being finished. Uh, he stopped producing um, his APM. Um, well, it still absolutely crushed mine. As is usual, I don't uh, I don't spam anything. I, I pretty much just do the clicks that I need to do. And hey, you know, I'm in diamond now, so it's working well. I am trying to get uh, siege tanks and siege tech up along with the engineering bays and the armory. Uh, they are way late once again. I'm, I was so rusty this game. Uh, there's Not that that's a, a great excuse, but it's the only one I got because it's true. I uh, hadn't played in a couple weeks. This was my first game. Uh, but a new map, so I wanted to show it to you guys. And because I won this, they put me back into the Diamond League for this season. I'm not a big fan of the seasons, uh, but, you know, I'm not going to complain too much about it. Uh, so, yes, back in the Diamond League, um, I ranked 50-something, but, you know, just one game so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Uh, hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.